and welcome to a day in the life video of the ponies. So first thing I get down to the yard in the morning and we're just turning all the lights on saying good morning to the ponies. So I haven't got a hugely busy day just riding the ponies and Apache needs to have a bath. That's what we're going to be getting up to. And then I'm just going to make their feeds. So they have fairly small feeds at the moment because there's so much grass in the field and they are going to get so chubby because they all love eating and they will just eat all day. So they've got fairly small feeds. So I'm just getting out my feed bins. Their feeds are pretty similar. So they each have a bit of balancer in their food because they're all, like I said, very chubby. And they also have some performance mix. And then of course chaff, because it's so important that your ponies get all the forage that they need. And then this is Freya's joint pain relief for her sore stiff legs. And she has a fairly large scoop of that, just because it makes her go so much better. And then they each get a little spray of this coat quality spray. That just goes in their food. And then they all have some water and a little mix. And then after that's soaked for a bit, we're just going to feed the ponies. Like I said, they all love breakfast. And then we have Hangry June, who's always so impatient. She knows it's dinner time. And she just wants her food. And honestly, she just eats it so quickly. And then, of course, we have Flicker. And he, he's very patient, he's very polite. Oh, and June has a lovely dirty mouth. So then once they finish, just collect up their bowls and I go wash them. And then it's time to get Apache out for his little bath. He's not having a major bath, I'm just focusing on the little stains that he's got. Why are the cars so loud? So many loud cars. Anyway, so I'm just giving him a groom just to get all the main mud off before I bath him. And now I'm just gonna plait his mane because it is a show jumping show. I don't have to do golf ball plaits. So I'm just gonna do a running braid. But yeah, this is for a show tomorrow. So there's, there's the little stain. So we're going to be trying to get that off. So now I've got my pony friendly shampoo, which I'm just going to scrub, scrub in. And then I'm just going to rinse it off. And he's such a good boy, he just stands so patiently. Putting his nice cosy fleece on now. So hopefully he will stay clean. And now I'm going to bring Flicker out to tack up. Normally I just tack up the other ponies in their stables. But, you know, it's a bit easier to film out on the yard, so I'll bring them out. But yeah, just giving him a quick groom because he was a little bit grubby. But thankfully he's very clean. Because obviously he is a grey. And they're not the easiest to clean at all. Now I'm just grabbing his tack and then picking a saddle pad, which is hopefully the most important bit. Went for a very bright Barbie pink. Now I'm just tacking him up. So we're going to be going through a hack through the fields. Because he's not the biggest fan of vehicles or anything, so it's just nice to keep him chilled in the woods, in the fields. On the paths 
But yeah, we're going to head to the fields onto the gallop tracks today. Which is just one of his favourite places. He loves to go fast. But yeah, it was a really nice hack. I didn't see any other people. It was really relaxed. And yeah, I think he really enjoyed himself. He is definitely a happy hacker. Rather than a schooling pony. And then there were some scary sheep. But then he made friends with one of them. He made friends with a sheep. And then on this particular route, we have to go down this little bank, which all the ponies are so good with. Apart from June, she tends to just leap down it. But at least I expect it now. So then we get home, dismount. Then I untacked him, and of course he had a sponge off because he was quite sweaty, and it's so important that they do have a sponge off. And then I tacked up June because we've got a lesson. And of course we hopped on. She doesn't really need a martingale, but her saddle doesn't fit her quite right. So it's basically just to keep it in place until we can get her a new one. So today in my lesson we're working on getting her to stretch getting the correct bend, I'll ignore that. Um, so yeah, and then we're gonna hopefully do some poles at the end. And yeah, so I'm doing my walk warm up first, then moving up to trot and doing some circles on both reins. But she has improved so much, so we're really happy with how we're going. And hopefully we're gonna be taking her to some dressage shows soon. And then we do have a little warm up canter on each rein. Again, ignore the washing. And then once we've done that, we did some walk to canter transitions and then some 20 meter circles in canter, really getting her to bend around her circles. And then of course we had to do it on the other rein. And then we put out a couple poles and we did them in walk in both reins. And then we moved up to trot and trotted them in both reins. And then, of course, in canter, and then we just had a nice cool down. Because she's very good, she's very tired, so we just had a little walk. And I brought her back in, I untacked her, and of course she also had a little bit of a sponge off. And then I'm just going to put her and Flick around the field, because they've got no more riding today. But I'm riding for her later, so she's staying in for now. Now I'm just bringing them out the field and they are so cute. Let them off, hopefully they stay fairly clean. And now I'm just tacking up Freya for our hack. So we're wearing lots of high vis because we're going to be on the roads for quite a bit. But she's so good on the roads. And we are fully pink today. Gotta love pink. Well, apart from the saddle pad. But you can't really see that anyway. So now we're all ready to go, and she's looking super cute. Then we're just going to hop on and then head off on our little hack. That high bit is blinding me. So we're starting off on the road, then we're going to pop into the field for a quick canter, just so she's getting good exercise, and then we're going to head back to the road to finish our hack. And you can see by her little ears, she is super happy. She's so excited to be out. She just loves her she just loves to work to be honest. Now we're just heading into the field. And she's so excited. She knows that we're gonna do some cantering. 
and then off we go. You see her little mane flapping around, she's so cute. And then we just head back onto the roads. We tend to stick to walking the roads, but we do do a little bit of trot where we can. On the little quieter bits, we do do some trotting. And then I stopped off at our allotment, which is where you quite often see us doing bigger jumps and ponies field also there. So I just had to water the plants and then we're heading back on our hack. And Freya just loves it, the allotment. And then hopping off and then bring her in, not tacking her. And then of course she also had a sponge off because she was sweaty. And then we're just putting her away in her stable. And they do all share her colours. And if you couldn't tell, my favourite is the Kiwi because they're always wearing it. And if you've been looking, you will see that on the washing, I also had my actual horse-sized um, Kiwi head colour. So if you've noticed that, then you know. And of course, she had to have a lovely roll and she's filthy. And then I went to go watch Barbie, so I stopped filming for a bit. Now I'm just going to make sure the stables are ready for Flickr and June to come in. There they are, it's quite dark now, but Flickr has a funky hairdo. And then I struggle to put Flickr's head colour on with one hand. And then I decided to be sensible and put the camera down to do June's. And the hair colour is a little bit clashy, but she still looks cute. And there they are, and then I just brought them in, put them in their stables, ready for night. And flick a roll too. <laughs> At least it's just shavings and there was no poop or pee. Because then they would be filthy. Put June away. And then I turned off the main yard lights, and I'm just going to turn off their barn lights. And Freya looks so dirty. So now I'm turning off the barn lights. And then I'll turn on flickers and lights to say goodnight to him. So there he is. You can just about see him. There he is. And then say goodnight. And then that's the end. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.